it would lead to a squandering of precious resources and undermine its governance and credibility. Contentious, uh, contentious issues belong to the realm of UN Security Council and UN Secretary General from where UNESCO should get its guidance. Less politics mean fewer political control of UNESCO initiatives. It will allow UNESCO to build a solid constituency and attract currently needed support. Dear colleagues, now I will switch to Russian. Please, uh, uh, please put on your headphones. Yes. These were the last headstones of a medieval cemetery, the last testament to a thousand years of a people's history. On December 15, 2005, they were wiped off the face of the earth. Nestled between the nations of Armenia and Iran is the region of Nakhichevan. In southern Nakhichevan, on the banks of the river Araxes, is the area of Julfa. In this remote, windswept place, Armenians have lived for over 2,000 years. Here, there once was a cemetery filled with 10,000 Armenian burial monuments, Khachkars, standing up to 8 feet tall, carved of pink, reddish and yellowish stone. They were beautiful and intricate, a testament to Julfa's past. Some were nearly 1,500 years old. The Armenian cemetery they constituted was said to be the largest in the world. Most were still standing in the 1920s, when the Soviet government gave control of Nakhichevan to the nation of Azerbaijan. Most of the remaining Armenians of Nakhichevan soon left the region. Over the next seven decades, the sacred Khachkars of Julfa were broken down and carried away by locals, often to be used as building materials. By 1998, there were only 2,000 still remaining from the original 10,000. But the worst was yet to come. Reports began to emerge that Azari authorities were deliberately destroying the last of the Khachkars. The international Armenian community tried to raise the alarm. In 1998, thanks to their pleas, UNESCO ordered the destruction to stop. But the demolition began again in 2002. In December of 2005, eyewitnesses across the Araxes saw Azari soldiers smash the remaining Khachkars with sledgehammers and drop the broken stones into the river. Since the fall of the Soviet Union, tensions had flared between Armenia and Azerbaijan over claims to territory. Now, one last bold attempt was being made to erase the Armenian presence in Nakhichevan. The Azeri government denied any involvement in the devastation. Nakhichevan's representative to the Azeri government declared that the Azeris had not destroyed the Armenian cemetery because there never were any Armenians in Nakhichevan at all.
the while, the world stood by and did nothing. Only a few outside news sources tried to publicize the tragedy.